Suppose you have a signal that is FM modulated. It has to be transmitted over a longer distance. The receiver won't be able to comprehend the direct FM modulated signal. Hence, a demodulator has to be used in order to obtain the original message signal. There are many ways to demodulate an FM modulated signal. However, we will be solely focusing on a particular discriminator known as Foster Silly Discriminator. Foster Silly Discriminator was first invented by Dudley E. Foster and Stuart William Silly in 1936. Then it was known as this discriminator, however, now it is known as Foster Silly Discriminator. The basic concept is that it takes an input signal which passes through a differentiator that consists of an amplifier which produces an amplitude modulated signal. Thus, this amplitude modulated signal results in a phase difference, thereby, the amplitude modulated signal is passed through an envelope detector to obtain the message signal. The basic difference between a frequency discriminator and a phase discriminator is that the circuit comprises of a capacitor, center tip, transformer, and an inductor. It has to be noted that the capacitor C2 provides a phase polarity to the voltages of V1 and V2, which then helps in determining the output voltage V0 1 and V0 2, which is given by the formula V0 is equal to V0 2 minus V0 1. It has to be noted that the inductor used will produce a voltage of V3. The particular voltage will define the voltage at VA1 and VA2. The voltage at VA1 will be given by V3 plus V1 and the voltage VA2 is equal to V3 minus V2. This gives rise to three cases. Now let's take a look at the characteristic response of the tuned amplifier. We can see the center tuned frequency FC, the upper band FC plus delta F and the lower band FC minus delta F. Output 
voltage at A2 will take the resulting between V3 and V2. Now we can see that the length of VA1 is longer than the length of VA2, meaning the magnitude of VA1 will be greater than the magnitude of VA2. Hence, using the output formula, we can see that the output will be a negative voltage. Talking about the advantages of the phosphorus slip discriminator, it provides good performance and linearity and it is easy to implement. The disadvantages of the phosphorus slip discriminator is that it has higher cost, it is not suitable with IC technology and is noise poor.